Okay, I live in Kansas City. I'm in LA. Yeah. Sean, it's, all, it's, it's, all, it's always good, man. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, that's the right attitude. Yeah. It's always good. You have some good barbecue there, though. Yeah, KC barbecue's off the chain. Yeah. I mean, you've had some, because you've been through a couple times, yeah, right? Memphis. Yeah. Memphis. That's good. Okay. I will say, KC is one of the few places other than Memphis that actually really unabashedly enjoy the barbecue. Yeah. Like, I that's hate, true. I hate on North Carolina, I hate on Texas barbecue, but KC I don't hate on. And guess what? We just proved right? to everyone that you are a smart man. Oh, yeah, okay. Good taste. <laughs> you are a smart good man taste, with literally. excellent taste. So that's, that's, that's good. So I'm going to go easy on you with this one. Ooh. But, you know, what I want to find out from you, though, what's the sexiest teacher you ever had? Think it back. Who was that one? Um, Miss Williams, first grade. She looked kind of like Courtney Cox, but like Courtney Cox, like when she was dating Michael J. Fox, like when oh, was a yeah. family. Oh, so the hot Courtney Cox. The no, hot, hot Courtney Cox is hot. Smoking. She was Courtney smoking Cox though. is hot, but she, but for some reason, I feel like Courtney Cox had more freckles then. <laughs> Maybe I just imagined that because Miss right, Williams, <laughs> when I was in first grade. Yeah. Had all these freckles and she had, you know, like jet black hair you. like Courtney Cox and she was really hot and I fantasized about her <laughs> a lot. <clears throat> Is Mine that was weird? In sixth grade. Nah. She was, uh, she, I can't even remember her name now, but she was a former Dallas Cowboys cheerleader who had decided to become a teacher. Oh, you won. And she was. <laughs> I mean, he wins. Well, I don't, I don't uh, jackpot! <laughs> she was so you dumb. Win. She no. Was, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she was this just the worst teacher. Oh, okay. Like I was teaching her stuff. It was rough. Yeah. No, we got Courtney. Today Cox. in class we go to learn to spell. She walks in with pom pom. Man, I mean, S P E E L. She named. She like had nicknames for all of you guys, but they were Cowboys players. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> totally. that, that, that's a good point. Yeah. Now I'm gonna throw another Jason one. Jason Irvin. <laughs> Answer the question, please. Exactly. I'm gonna throw another one at you though. Uh -oh. Who was uh -oh. the worst teacher you ever had, and what made that teacher so bad? I don't. I mean, you know, by the time that I got to high school, I started doing homeschooling. I was kind of a freak in that way, because um, I was. I mean, I ended up. Oh, that's right. You used to sing, didn't you? I did. <clears throat> my that. yeah, my my wonder years. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, so I can't really say that I. I mean, I really. I, I, I liked, when I was a kid, I got along better with adults than I did with kids. Um, so, I don't really That's have a teacher. That's his reality. What I don't really have know. a teacher that I like could really say hated on me or, or was mean to me. or. Yeah. What's the worst teacher you ever had? Uh, I had one who accused me of plagiarism, which I did not do, but she didn't trust in the, in the old the brain bone, the old Jason Siegel brain bone. I learned that from the Dallas Cowboys cheerleader that you have a brain bone. You have a brain bone. Yeah. <laughs> That's yeah. what she called your skull, a brain bone? Yeah, yeah the brain That's bone. nice. <laughs> Very nice. Now talk about the game. <laughs> hey, welcome back. Ooh. Bunch of us are going out tonight to see Period 5 play. Do you want to come? Period 5? Yeah, the teacher band. <laughs> I'd rather get shot in the face. Hey. Hey! So, are you guys coming to the palace tonight? My band's gonna do a few songs. You're in period five. You're looking at the new rhythm guitarist and backup vocalist. Should be fun. Should be amazing. Lynn, you wanna come? Yes, yes. <laughs> Talk about the, the challenge of the comedic timing for this, because there's so many interchangeable parts in this movie and they all have to come together. How difficult was that? Well, I, this is a unique film. First of all, because you, the part that you'd normally see a male playing in the lead, you have what's like one of the hottest women yeah. on the face of the planet, yeah. and she's also extremely funny, um, and she's and she she kills it. You know that's what she does, and uh, she's definitely in her wheelhouse. Um, but also the all the characters in this film are so unique to themselves. Um, that it, give, it, it, it gave us a lot of room to kind of take our character and put it on its own little island. And then, you know, you bring them all together and you kind of see, you know, hilarity ensues. Yeah, and they did an amazing <laughs> job of casting just an ensemble of truly hilarious people. So it was, uh, it was pretty easy to, to laugh on set and I think it translates to the movie. The first, uh, the first, I think the first- You're out of your mind. There is no way that LeBron will ever be Jordan. Nobody will ever be Jordan, okay? Okay, LeBron's a better rebounder and passer. Will you let me finish? Can you, can you let me finish?
Call me when LeBron has six championships. Is that your only argument? It's the only argument I need, Sean! First day that I worked, we did a scene, the scene around the punch bowl at the school dance, and Jake and the writers saw me and Jason like peel off in between scenes and yeah. start like, we were immediately like over huddled over laughing with ourselves so much that the scene at the, at the memorial, at the Lincoln Memorial yeah. uh, was written after they saw that, we're like, we gotta get these two together in a scene. Yeah. Yeah, I feel, like they, feel like they scored. Sounds good, money. <laughs> yeah, 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 thank, thank you. you. Okay. Thanks, <laughs>